Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to CEO Warrior. We have one hell of agenda set for you today. And today is all going to be about talking about how do we double your profits in 2019. Now, the deal is first, why don't you type in real quick, like, why do you even want to double your profits? Like, why are you here? Let me make sure I know why you're here so I can deliver to you. And I have a whole bunch of strategies and stuff I'm going to share with you. We are going to dig super deep into things, but let me know, like, why is profit even important for you? And you might see me doing a bunch of stuff here and I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share some pictures. I'm going to share strategies and tactics with you guys. But tell me, like, why, why do you even want to double your profits in 2019? Type it in below. Just so you guys know, this is a very interactive training. So I do not want you here just listening. I want you learning and ready to implement. So type it out real quick. 2019. Why? Because if you don't know the why, like how do we even go forward on things? You got to know why we even want to double profit. Now, I'll tell you some stories along the way if it's cool. And if you see me looking close to the screen, I'm going to have to because like I need glasses for far. But then if I wear them close, I get all messed up here. But let's see. Is the webinar being recorded? Why? Are you going to leave us soon? Yes, we are going to record this webinar because I want to ultra serve you in the information we are delivering. Have twins on the way, need to support a family of five. That is awesome. That's exactly why CEO Warrior does what it does is because I know that all of you want to have a better life and a more amazing life, a more amazing business. So here's what we're going to go through first. A lot of you may have just a trip, you know, tripped across one of our ads or something, or, or maybe you don't know a little bit about me. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm one of the co-founders of CEO Warrior. And, you know, our goal is as a training and coaching organization, which I consider us the top training and coaching organization in the entire planet for getting more results, growth, and profit than anybody else on the planet today. And I'm welcome to go into the octagon to, to challenge that type of stuff. And the goal is I want to serve you guys. And I want to serve you because I'm from a world, if you're electrical or, you know, I did plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical, we did, you know, we did indoor air quality. We did water filtration, one day bathroom solutions, basement water premium. We did everything. I know what it's like to win and win big. I'll share some of those stories with you. And I know what it's like to struggle. If you could, if you relate to struggle, type in some kind of word and, and if it's okay with you, I'm going to do my best on my language, but sometimes who's my Italians in the room. Give me a big boom. If you're an Italian, sometimes when that language, that, that wild language comes out, it flies. So what I would say, if, if any curse words come out or anything, it's I'm okay with myself. You just pray for me later, if that's cool. And just change the word into a different word or something. I will use it to make a point, not use it just to use some kind of foul language. Is that fair? All right. So now type in there, you know, how does it feel to struggle or when you did struggle? And, and I also know that a lot of people on here, maybe they just want to get more. Maybe you're already doing 20 million, 30 million, 50 million, 100 million. But the question is, if you're doing that, there's more. If you're struggling, there's a way to do better. And if you're in the middle, you're in the purge zone. You know the purge zone? This is the zone where if the economy goes south, you might get taken out and killed from behind, just like happened whatever about seven, eight years ago. If, can anybody relate to seven or eight years ago when everybody was getting throat chopped and punched in the face and only the strongest survived? I'll share some of that because one of the things, not only do I want to give you information about profit and how to make more, I know what it's like to survive through that and never have a down year. Never have a down year. I didn't have a down year for over 12 years in business, even through the economy that they said was closest to the Great Depression. I never had a down year. We always made minimum an extra million. Now look, it's not about me. 
As you guys know, I've been doing, or maybe you don't know, I've been doing CEO Warrior for over five years now, transforming, creating, and our warrior fingerprints are probably on some of the greatest brands, businesses built all over the United States, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and all over the place. And, and that's why I'm pretty sure you're here, or at least you're intrigued to stay here for a while to see what kind of value that we're gonna deliver. So make sure, please, you have a pen and paper so you can write stuff down. I see a lot of my friends, even though, let me put my glasses on. There he is, Mr. Joe Williams and Allison. How are you? Nice to see you. I see so many family coming in, but I gotta take the glasses back off to see everything else. So you gotta bear with me on that. So as we're going through things here, I want to talk to you about what we built, and I'm going to give you some pieces of this. Let me show you something that is, is pretty darn dear to my heart, and you're probably thinking, ah, he's going to show, you know, Joe and Alice is like, ah, he's probably going to show a picture of his kids right now, they're dear to his heart, or his beautiful wife, or, you know, his employees. I'm like, no, I'm going to show you something else that dear to my heart. It's this right here. It is this system, it is this system that we built that's called the CEO Warrior System, and it's the system that I am going to give you pieces of, pieces of, as we go through things, and I'm going to show you how this system, I have taken what we've done, you know, in, in over $200 million of service in the last 10 years, um, which is now probably 11 and a half years ago, because I'll share how we exited. And I built it into the ultimate system that has taken almost a half a year to get it down, document it, and put in place. And if you could take a quick look at this system, you could start to see here, you could start to see that it's going to be all about where you're at and where you want to go. Now, I don't want your eyes to get crisscrossed here. I know this is very intense, but this is a, this is a blueprint. This is a strategic roadmap that when that middle wheel spins and I teach you about, if you look in the middle there, how to create and elevate and operate yourself to the highest level. When I teach you about how to take mindset and skill set and action set, how to get ultimate clarity, ultimate accountability, alignment. And then I teach you the difference between training, coaching, and managing. Now, I'm going to go as deep as I can and how this applies to profit. Now, I understand profit. Look, I'm a company, and me and my partner, for many years, we did 3% profit, 5% profit. We did, you did not, you hoped for profit some years. Tell me if you could relate. Type in a big old boom in there if you could relate to, like, just wanting some damn profit. I mean, let's face it, 1% is better than than losing money, right? But I also know when I'm working and one of my coaches, Jay Abraham, about, uh, let's see, it's probably about three and a half, three years ago, he told me and he told Rob, my business partner, he said, you guys need to focus on profit. What he was trying to do was be real kind to me. And if you don't know Jay Abraham, look him up. He's the $9.4 billion man. He's the highest level training and coaching consultant in the world today. He's mine and Rob's private coach right now for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And three years ago, he said, kind ways like, you got to get the profit up. He goes, this is like ridiculous here, what you're doing. And I said, you're right. And when we put focus, you know, there's a lot of big companies out there, but there's not too many companies that were doing $32 million double digit profit. And I'm proud about that. So I am bragging a little bit because I don't know too many of my friends that did 30, 50, $60 million companies that had double digit profit. And that's what we were able to do. And that's why they hunted us down to purchase our company for one of the highest EBITDAs probably in ever in history that I know of. Um, and probably one of the greatest transactions of all time. And I know a lot of you probably have sold business before and a lot of you are ultra successful and I'm honored that you're here. And some of you, I'm gonna help get to ultra success. But I mean, we signed our name and the next day we walked away with a boatload, right? With, with a very healthy return there. So through this profit, I want you to know, I'm gonna teach you some real good strategies about that. Here's one of probably some of the things I wrote down here for the hardest parts today, you know, about running a business and profit. And as I'm going, thank you for the participation. I see a lot of booms. I see double digit profit. 
I see Rick responding. I see a lot of you guys. Let's keep it interactive. This is not a come and watch me. This is down and dirty. Let's, this is workshop, right? This is get to work. As you guys know, I'm not one of those guys going to sit around and chit chat a lot. We could chit chat after you have wealth, freedom, and market domination. If that's fair, give me a double boom in the chat bar. Give it with power though, because I want you to be hearing me because look, I'm not here to sell you nothing today. I'm not asking for no money from you. Our number one, our number one purpose and mission at CEO Warrior is to change more business owners' lives on the planet than any other tra uh, trainer, coach, guru, organization on the planet. That's what we're doing. And the reason why we do this, everybody, is because we do it because we want to, not because we have to. You could imagine selling a $32 million company that did over 200 million that we ended up pretty good. I don't have to do this. Why am I here today with you on a Thursday? Because it drives me to hear the stories that, you know, where you were telling your kid you couldn't buy the shoes or the iPad or go to Disney World, and now you can do that stuff. Before you're fighting with your wife, she hates your business, or, or your wife, you hate her business, and now all of a sudden you love it together and you're passionate and driven. And so many people are doing great stuff how to get ready for 2019, but let's get real. What we got to get ready for is damn profit. We need profit. If you kind of think about this, I want you to think that revenue growth, and tell me if this makes sense, revenue and growth builds a bigger human. Isn't that true? I mean, it builds a giant. You go from 1 million, I mean, we've taken people from zero to 2 million in 12 months time in service industry with no brand, no truck, nothing to $2 million. And we've taken other companies from four to nine in, in a year and everywhere in between. But the fact is revenue grows the person. Profit is the health of the human. Isn't that true? Let this sink in a little bit a minute. Isn't profit the health of the human? It's the health of the company. If you don't have a healthy profit, you have a stressful life. You have a lot of pain in your brain and you have a lot of anxiety pressures and a lot of this stuff, I get it, it happens. You know, there's a lot of complexities and I know people like, you know, Michael Gerber and E-Myth and, and John Maxwell and all these experts, they wanna make it sound like it's a simplistic one shiny bullet. No, it's not. It is complex, but it's only as complex as giving you the pieces to put the puzzle together at the right time. You know, normally puzzles, when I learned how to put puzzles, and I'm no puzzle master, but a lot of times you started with the corners. Isn't that true? How hard is it to do a puzzle when you start from the middle? So if you don't know the sequence of how to put a puzzle together, what takes some people an hour to put a puzzle together, it takes others a lifetime. So I'll, I'll share more of that as we go, but here was some of the hardest parts, right? I mean, keeping a, your head above water during these struggles. I mean, I remember like the, the whole, tell me if you can relate to this. It's the whole pet peeve thing of like, well, what if I hire more people and, and I run out of work? What if I don't hire more people and I can't ever make more money? Or what if I don't hire more people and I'm the only guy and I get sick? You know, that was one of the driving forces for me, everybody, was, man, what, I'm an electrician by trade. That's what I went to vocational school for. So any of my other electrician brothers or sisters out there, give me a big old warrior boom there. You know, that's what I went to school for. But, you know, it's pretty, after 10 years of struggle and pain and working seven days a week, and I did residential, commercial, industrial. I'm the best in the world. Rob and I did a, an, a million dollar industrial plant that burned down. We were 24, 25 years old. I was beating people that been in business 40 years, doing TGI Fridays, Wendy's, Sleepy, big and tall stores. That's why a lot of people, when they look at CEO Ward, they're like, oh, well, I do commercial work. I'm like, no, no shit. I'm the best in the world at commercial work. I was beating out legends when I was 24 years old, coming in and crushing that. And residential, forget about that. Any service industry in the residential, doesn't matter if it's pest control, landscaping, I don't care if it's roofing, remodeling, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care if it's concrete, painting, doesn't matter. I know how to build all that because I did almost all of it at Gold Medal. Someone said to me the other day, they said, they're thinking about coming out to our four day event. And they're like, well, how many people do carpet cleaners? I was like, I started and did restoration and carpet cleaning. I did a, I did a million dollars in, in, in like 10 months. 
from zero to a million in 10 months in restoration. I'm the best in the world at that. CEO Warrior figured this stuff out because we know the fundamentals of marketing, not because I'm brilliant, guys, because I spent 1.7 million on my own education to learn it because I don't want to be okay. I learned when I sat with Kevin O'Leary. Let me show you a picture of son here. When I sat with Kevin O'Leary and he turned around and I want to show you some of the people that I've invested to learn from. And a lot of people, a good friend of mine and, and warrior of ours, you know, Steve Adarius says, it's the thing I love about you most. He goes, you've spent the 1.7 million, so I don't have to spend 1.7 million. And you just tell me exactly what to do. I mean, when I was with Kevin O'Leary on the bottom and there was about seven other people there, you know, he, he told me about and kind of said, I'm going to give you my paraphrase or my wording of it. He's like, look, there's people that are good, then there's the best in the world. And who do you think makes more money? He goes, do you think I make more money? Or do you think a guy that's not on any show, that does no deals, that doesn't know any business knowledge, never experienced the punches and faith, like he doesn't make a lot of money. The guy that, and I want all of you to not only be empowered and motivated, but I want you to be smarter and elevate yourself. I want you to evolve yourself right now. You want to be the best in the world. The best in the world, they make more money. They have a better life most of the time. As long as they're responsible and don't start doing the stuff they shouldn't do. If this is making sense, tell me what you're hearing from the message so far, because I want to make sure we stay on track with each other. The other things is, I mean, look, making money you deserve. I mean, how many of you are working your ass off right now? Raise your hand. How many? How many of you are working your ass? I could see you. You guys get even without. Let me put my glasses on. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I got my glasses on you. How many of you deserve more money? Look, if you don't think you deserve more money, then you're going to be one of those people that sit at your family's dinner table for Christmas and you all bitch about all the problems of the world. Someone told me, someone told me, Derek, they said, let me tell you how to, how to not make how to not make the economy a problem. Create your own economy. He said, because when you're bitching about the problems, you have no solutions. So that's why I want to make sure I want you to win because if you're one of those people that, and now I messed up your Christmas dinner. I am sorry. Because now you're going to get in a fist fight with your sister and your mother-in-law, right? This is going to happen because they're going to start bitching and you're going to turn up and go, let me tell you, let me tell you what Mike the Warrior says. He says, why don't you take action and create your own economy instead of bitching while we're sitting here trying to eat pierogies or something. You know, well, I've eaten pierogies because my mom was Polish and stuff. You know what I mean? So you got to take action on this stuff. And some of the other things are, what about this? You know, having a business you're proud of. I mean, if you feel, if you walk in the morning, if you wake up in the morning and grunt because you got to go to your office, you know what I mean? That's probably not a business you love. You have to love the problems. Jay Abraham was just here. Um, he was just here, whatever, a couple weeks ago. He, he came and talked to uh, all my clients. And then we had a special day with my high-level clients. And the last thing he said, and I want this, I want you, I want this to sink in right now for you. He gets ready to leave. It's the last word he says, the 9.4 billion dollar guy walks in he's getting ready to leave we're saying goodbye and he goes i want you to remember something there is no problem only opportunities and i'm like he might as well have done this he might as well have went boom right that's what he might as well have did in that moment there because i was like holy crap that is brilliant you should write that down right now on your arm. No, you don't have to tattoo yourself like me. But write it on paper. If you looked at everything, that there, there was not a problem, that everything was an opportunity, how would that change the game for you? It would change amazing. Now, let me tell you just a little bit more about my story. And I'm curious for some of you, I'm curious for some of you, type in how many of you are my martial arts uh, friends, because I want to know how many martial arts brothers and sisters I have out here. But here's a picture of me and the quick story, just so some of you that we've never met before, so we could get a little closer together. That's actually my son in the ninja suit. My son is 19 now. This is probably about three, four years ago or so. 
but I'm an eighth degree black belt in Daituru Aiki Jiu Jitsu, Shorinro Karate, all the Okinawan weapons, Tenshin Ru Ken Jitsu, been training Muay Thai for the last four plus years. And so just to give you a little foundation, I'm a focus guy and a discipline guy, but this lets you know a little bit about me. I'm probably what my wife would say, it's a purple unicorn. You've probably seen, uh, heard of them, but never saw one. I mean, I'm a tattoo artist. I tattooed, I tattoo myself and you know, a lot of people don't do it. I don't eat, I don't drink caffeine. I don't eat gluten. So I'm a little bit of a freak, but I want to give you the best parts of what makes me a freak and, and give that knowledge over to you. The story is this, you know, when Rob and I were in the field and tell me if you guys can relate to this day, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite pictures, favorite picture, besides some of the pictures with my family, this is one of my favorite business pictures of all time. And if there's only one image that I have to see after my personal family on the day I die, this is the picture that I would wanna look at next to my family because that is my business partner and one of my very best friends who we built gold medal to over 32 million. We built CEO Warrior in the last five years to the top training coaching organization in the entire planet. We've already outgrown most people that have been trying to do coaching guru consultants for probably most of 20 years. We've outgrown them in five years because of what we deliver. But here's the deal, that cold morning you got it, right? The 6.30 morning and you're out there, you could tell it's a little chilly and you got a long day. You're going to put some, you're going to lay down some pipe. You're going to, you know, you're going to pull some conduit. You guys know the feeling. You can feel that, that morning, can't you? It's one of these, these mornings right here. Let me show it to you. I'm pretty sure it's the same, the same day. Uh, maybe the same picture there when this was taken. Cause you know, back then when we took this picture, I was still in the field grinding it out, right? You know this, that day where you're digging ditch, the mud, you know that clay, it stinks. It smells, maybe some of you can't relate to it. You got the rubber boots on. It's gonna be a rubber boot day. You're trying to get things done because the storm's coming in, the trenches are gonna fill, and, and, and your greatest hope, and type in boom if you can relate to this, your greatest excitement is trying to get the inspector there so you could bury it before a, a, a thunderstorm comes through and you gotta try so, so that guy doesn't give you a hard time so he could see the 10 sets of parallel four inch schedule 80 conduit. Can you relate to this now? That's why a lot of people, you know, in my world, they say, you know, Mike, one of the things that makes you so relatable is it's not a story. You know it, you know what it's like to get your hands dirty. You know what it's like to have a, you know, what we used to call a three or four shirt day because you sweat so through, you got to change your shirt. That's why our 200 employees over at Gold Medal were so loyal to us because I understood digging the trenches. I understood working, working late. Here's what I started to discover. Going from a lot of that pain okay, and making a lot of mistakes. Let me show you a few mistakes of our, our transition. There's a reason I'm spending time on this because if you don't know, uh, you might see one of the mistakes I made and avoid it. I mean, yeah, we went from a brown van and I thought I figured it out, so we went to a white van. We made a real mess out of that. And then we went to a gold medal vehicle that we had 165 trucks that traveled all over New Jersey, pretty much almost every part of New Jersey. But man, I wish I didn't have to make those other mistakes. Who can relate to making a lot of mistakes and probably building a really sloppy brand or some of you may not have any brand at all. Maybe it's not, it's not competitive at all for you. Or what about this? How many of you, maybe you got 10 guys and you're struggling or five guys, or maybe you need one guy and somebody tells me, they say, and look for profit. You got to have men. You got to have loyal men, strong men and women. And people tell me, well, the biggest thing, Mike, is it's hard to hire today. And I'm like, well, I hired 200 people. Why is it higher? Well, you're big. Well, how the hell do you think I got them when I was five guys? How do you think I went from five to 200? At one time, we were small, very, very small. But we figured out, we figured out the missing and critical pieces, everybody, the critical pieces to help you and, and help ourselves understand how to solve the problem. Last picture, and then I wanna dig in. Well, I have two more. I wanna dig into some strategies with you. Here's what half of our fleet look like. I wanna share it because I wanna excite you. Because look, I'm a vocational school. Anybody else a vocational school kid? Go to vocational school? 
you know, back in the day where you didn't know if you had to fist fight because everybody was doing drugs. You know, I want to show you, this is only half of our fleet, okay? This, this picture was, I don't know, probably, maybe uh, Mike, Master Advisor Mike Disney could type in. It's a long time ago, so that's only what we were able to fit in the back of our, our shop. And here's what you want to know. Here's what's probably most important, is that people now are starting to learn, and they're starting to change the game. Like, here's a lot of people just from our last service business edge event that are working to change the game because warrior is not a it's not a thing it's not a theme it's not a an act it's it's a movement to change lives and we're not one of these people that just teach you we're not going to teach you how to get motivated will you get motivated excited to build and grow yeah hell yeah you will because just being in ceo warrior makes you drive makes you it makes you move forward but it's not about these guys from our, our event a couple weeks ago, it's not about being motivated. It's about permanent change and being smarter, taking action quicker. It's about being alive again. Some of you, you know, you forgot how to have fun. You forgot what it's like to be 18. Somebody said to me, how old are you? I said, I'm 48. And they're like, okay, I get it, but you don't act 48. I said, why, do, why, do, why the hell do I have to act 48? What, what do I got to fit my, uh, my, my, my family's criteria? Do I have to fit the, cult, the, uh, the society's criteria? Why don't I just fit my criteria of building big business and selling it and becoming wealthy? If you're interested in something like that for yourself, which I hope you are, because let me, let me share something people tell me all the time, and I hope you're not one of the sayers. Someone said this to me, and then I'm going to give you the first uh, uh, profit strategy here. Someone said to me this. This is so crazy. They said to me... Um, they said to me this, Derek, they said, you know, Mike, money's not everything. Did anybody ever tell you that before? Uh, Mike, money's not everything. I said, I get it. Perfectly well said from a broke ass human, right? Right? I mean, come on, let's be real. Money's not everything, but if you have money, you can change lives. Is that true? Shake your head if that's true. If you have money, can you give it to charities? Can you change your community? Can you help your church? Can you help your elderly parents out? Can you do that if you have money? I tell people, stop being selfish and go get more money because you can help more people with more money. But a lot of people have been taught all these limiting beliefs. You know, money doesn't grow on trees. It's hard to grow a business. No, no, you have to be smart. You have to work hard and you have to put the puzzle pieces together the right way. All right, let's dig into profit strategy number one here. And it's going to be a quick one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into uh, something I call the two futures here. Profit strategy number one is look, and you heard it before, but I don't know if you're listening. You have to, you have to, have to, have to surround yourself with a peer group of people that are strong, powerful, and driving. I remember I used to go to a supply house, like a lot of you, and I would ask my buddy there, how's things going? He'd go, oh, okay, it's going okay. And I'm like, man, he's dead. I was surrounding myself with weak people, weak business owners. And when I learned in Napoleon Hill, he talks about this stuff. He talks about this stuff. And if you guys want to listen to something, I've been sharing it lately because it's, I just listened to it in the last month and it's blowing my mind. I want you to write this down right now. And then after you listen to it, I want you to send me a private message and say, thank you. So I'm going to set myself up because I got to make sure you're going to say thank you. Napoleon Hill wrote a book. If you listen to it, write it down. It's called Outwitting the Devil. Did anybody ever listen to that book, Outwitting the Devil? Okay, if you didn't, put it down and listen to it. Now, look, if you're, if you're super religious, you probably got to be careful with your ears because it's, it's a little testing of beliefs, but it's words. So don't let words penetrate you. Listen for the, the, the information that comes through. It's going to change your life when you listen to it. All right, so one, Rob and I found out when I started to surround myself with guys like Dan Kennedy and Brian Kurtz and Jay Abraham and a lot of these experts, I found out that I ran faster, I moved quicker. And when, when I was a community of other, just like our community of warriors, when, when our warriors came out, whatever, a hundred plus something of them a couple weeks ago, and they're here and the building, you guys probably watch the videos and you're like, ah, oh, these guys are nuts. We watch the videos and we go, yes, we're nuts. We are nuts to serve our family at the highest level. We have the energy, the power. I mean, I look at some of you sitting there and I'm like, Holy mackerel, are you burnt out from the holidays already? Are you not alive already? Are you not thriving and hungry for what you can go get? Because there's no lack of money out there. Just go to the mall. 
or Starbucks or Chipotle. When's the last time you went to Chipotle and there wasn't a line of 20 people? If that's true, give me a big old boom over there, right? There's not a lack of money. There's a lack of people willing to go get the money. So make sure you surround yourself. This might sound a little crude, but you guys get it. You, would you rather me give hurtful truth or comforting lies? Ty, type it in right now while I take a drink. You want hurtful truths or comforting lies? You want me to sing Kumba to you or you want me to tell you the truth of what a lot of people don't say? Okay, I got a lot of hurtful truths. Here's the hurtful truth. Look, if you're working with coaches, consultants, gurus, organizations, and you're there and you tell me, like my friends used to say, well, I'm there because I have a lot of good friends. I'm like, do you understand what paying for friendship is? Type it in if you know what paying for friendship is. There's one word, and it may be crude, you may not like it, but I'm not here to, to make you all like, oh, you know, Mike said this. Look, let me see if any of you got it. Mike and Ryan provide you with the tools and the motivation to move the needle. Thank you, brother, I appreciate it. Look. When you pay for friendship, it's called prostitution, right? I mean, you're paying for a result. You're not paying for prostitution. You're not paying for friendship. You're paying because you're investing in a result because you know that surrounding yourself with real strong, real smart, real motivated, real energized people, then everybody pulls forward. Is that true? I mean, you tell me if it's true. It's true for me. It doesn't have to be true for you. Let's talk about this. I'm going to draw something out for you right now. And you are going to, this is going to make so much sense to you. And it's something that I want you to put right into your, right into your business. And it's something that I call the two futures. And this is the first part that you must know about profit. So I want you to, I want you to draw along with me. Okay, draw along with me because this is going to put it in your brain and then you're going to own the concept too to apply in your company. So here's where you are today, right? And you don't have to share it in the stream, but I want you, but you can because there's no judgments here. I'm not going to judge you if you have purple hair, if you got tattoos in your mouth, like it doesn't matter to me. I'm a tattoo guy and I'm, a, and I'm probably a pretty unique guy by most standards. But what I want to know is since we're talking about profit today, write down on the paper, type it in, where's your profit? And don't lie, some people are like, oh, I'm 45%. I'm like, okay, and then I look at their books and it's like, uh, you've been losing money for five years, right? So I'm not impressed by your numbers, I just need you to know where you're at. This is, this is the, the starting point, everybody. This is the starting point right here. Now I realize you probably can't get all fancy with the colors, but that's okay, just, just draw out the stuff. And then the next thing is this, you want to understand that there's two ways to get to higher profit, right? And I've learned this because I took it to double digit profits and I'm excited about that because profit's the health of the company. When you got profit and you can reinvest profit, you could take over market share unlike anybody's ever taught you, shown you, or you've done before. When you know how to take that profit and allocate it properly to dominate a market or many markets. This here is by design, everybody. It's by design. You need to have a plan, a profit plan, that is by design. And I have a strong feeling, and you tell me if this is true, that most people's profit plan is by what? Default. I hear people all the time. They tell me, well, I ended up with this much profit. And I'm like, did you know you were not making profit? Well, I had a feeling. What, what month of the 12 months did you have the feeling? Well, first quarter. And I said, what did you do? Well, we tried to do things. I said, did you focus on it? And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you pieces that you're going to put in place in your culture that I put in my culture that changed the game. But you got to understand with, with the default, I mean, when you're default profit, you normally are someone and no judgments, you could type it or not. You fall into survival or you're in a world of, um, you know, slavery. You feel slavery in your business, or you're in a sense of poverty, poverty in your business, poverty in your mind. And most poverty that you ever experience, as you know, anybody who has a grandparent who, 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 who anybody have a grandparent that hid money under the mattress? Well, that was a poverty mindset. It was, I understand what it's like to be broke and I never want to be. So I hide stuff under the mattress because I don't ever want to lose it. And what I want you to do is I want it by design because I want you to have freedom. 
and type in the word freedom in the chat bar. Type it in. Who wants more freedom? I mean, the ability to do what you want, where you want, without any worries about time at all. Isn't that freedom? Where you could have fun, you could golf, boat, hunt, fish, whatever, and you're not worried about people hunting you down, texting your phone, blowing things up. That's real, real freedom. And then on top of that, wealth. Now, wealth is different uh, for everybody, but it's the wealth to have the money that, that you're not worried about buying things. You're not, like I always tell people this, and, I, I, and in a minute I'm gonna ask you what you're starting to hear, but I said people when they complain about gas, you know how you, you don't ever complain about gas money again? Type in right now what you have to do to never complain about gas money again. The Because when I hear somebody go, oh, gas is $3 a gallon. I'm like, so what? Who cares? Make more money. That's how you stop bitching about gas. You, that's how you stop bitching about most things. Just go make money. Because when you're bitching, when you're down here, bitching about that, that problem, you're living in in the default stage and you're down here and you're in this survival in this poverty mindset and you cannot win from the poverty mindset you see when you're in the design mindset and your profit by design here's what you're doing you are scaling okay you're scaling and you're abundant you have abundance and that's what I want you to have. I want you to have scaling and abundance. But what causes, what allows you to scale in abundance? Do you see why this is so important to profit? Every one of your people, everybody, your call center, your dispatch, your experts, every person in your company, every success they're having is either by design or for fault. Every failure they're having, it's either by design or fault. This is not a company thing. This about profit is something I did with every employee. What do you need to do? I mean, we had million dollar service tax, not one, many. Why? By design, we helped reverse engineer to get them there, right? And when you look at this, what gets you by design, write it down, you gotta have clear thinking. When you're having problems in your company, are you having clear thinking? No. Can you get more profit by distracted thinking? No, you can't, you need clear thinking. And then you need positive discipline. You need positive discipline. You have to be doing the right things at the right time. And then you have to have right actions. You have to do action to get there. A lot of people are panicking. I love when I hear people say, you know, it's the shoulder season, it's the slow time. I'm like, if you're in the business for 20 years and you know every February it's slow and you haven't figured it out, I agree, you're slow. You're slow somehow. I don't say it to be rude. I say it to make an impact on you like, oh, that makes sense. Do I have to be slow? Well, I guess if you want to accept what happens to all your friends, we weren't slow. I mean, we had Storm Sandy and, and we made a lot of money through Storm Sandy. That's not the impressive part. The impressive part is we never, when that money went away, we didn't go down. We went up still. Do you see what I'm talking about? Tell me what you just heard. Type in what you just heard. Why I start to tell you right now, about what keeps you by default. Here's what, poor habits, poor habits, complaining, bitching, whining, arguing, nasty attitude, there's no good people, they all rob, they're all lazy. That's never gonna, that's not clear thinking. That's poor habit thinking, right? And then the other thing is indecision. You know, I've been doing, I've been doing this uh, with Rob for over five years now, CEO Warrior. But we were coaching people for three years before that. We were hidden, but companies were growing 10, 15 million and they weren't giving us no credit. And I was like, well, this is ridiculous. They never mentioned us, but they're in other groups acting like they're, that's where they learned it. We were the ones teaching. I was like, so indecision all the time I hear from people like, ah, oh, I don't know if I should go to one of Mike's thing. And I'm not here to sell you nothing, everybody. I'm not here to sell you nothing, but I'm just sharing experience. They're like, well, I don't know if I should come to it. I'm like, cool, how's indecision been serving you in life? Because if you have indecision in doing anything, that's how you make every business decision. Type in boom if that's true. If you have indecision like, oh, I don't know if I should get it, let me think about it. You know how you have indecision? This is how you know. You got like five things in your Amazon uh, waiting to buy, but you haven't bought it. How many, raise your hand now, how many of you have like 
three to five things in your Amazon box and you haven't bought it. That's called indecision. You don't want to make a damn decision. The thing's 35 bucks. Buy the damn thing already because it trains you. Now, I'm not telling you to waste money. If you thought it was a good idea and you need it, buy it. If you don't, move it out. Don't have anything sitting and waiting because what I want you to have is that profit conditioning habit. Profit conditioning habit. Now, look, you guys know, like we're definitely going to... Uh, we're only going for 40 something minutes or whatever, but we're gonna go a little later. So I want you to text your office, text your girls, because unless you want me to stop, I'll stop. But otherwise, I have a lot more information I wanna give you. And the last thing is inaction. Inaction. Inaction is this. Uh, I'm gonna get started healthy January 1st. No, inaction. If you wanna get healthy, it starts today. Well, no, I wanna eat, I wanna eat like a slob through the holiday. I'm like, okay, well, so we're gonna get real bad, so we gotta try to get good. Well, why don't we just try to get okay, and then we'll get real good after New Year. But let's, let's get started. Let's get started on it. All right, type in what hit you, what hit you the most there between by design and by, by default. What made most sense to you here? Because I'm gonna tell you, when we figured out how to, and whoever's writing on my screen, I know you're excited, like try to erase that and pull that, pull that back off there. So I know a lot of you, you know, you're sitting there and you're trying to figure out like, man, is it by design? Is it by default? And, and how could that concept change things? The next thing that I want to give you is, is a strategy that is super, super good. And it's how to take action, how to take action. And not only how to take action, how to take massive, massive action. And somebody's probably on an iPad. Let's see if we unshare this and that will, that will go away there. Okay. Um, it's probably that most people were not taught how to take action. But the fact is, if you don't learn how to take massive action, here's my questions for you, right? How many times, and just give me a number, just give me a rough number. In the last 15 years, 20 years, whatever, how many times did you lose money from not taking action? Type it in, I'm curious. I, I wanna see your notes. How many times in your career last 10 years or whatever, 20 years, you're like, I didn't take action and it cost me money? Answer this one for me. When, how many times did you win by taking action? You took on a new lead generation strategy. You decided to hire somebody and got past fear. What did take an action? How many times did you take real good action in the last couple of years and it's changed the game for you. I mean, I see a lot of you on here and a lot of times I'm gonna flip through the screen so I can see, I always see a lot of people that, that are in trucks and vehicles. And it's one thing if you wanna be out there, but it's another thing because you have to be out there. And what about this? Help me understand this. For me serving you, if you wouldn't mind serving me a minute, what holds you back? If you were to give me a couple words, only a couple, what holds you back from taking action on a regular basis? Let me help you understand this because then I'm gonna teach you a model on how to take massive action that's gonna help change it. Because if you don't take action, how will you ever get greater levels of profitability? See, when we went from single digit profit to double digit profit, do you, we had to take massive action on things. And I'm gonna teach you the formula that helps that. Let me see what you're saying. Fear of failing, limited, uh, limited funds, this year higher and survived fear of the unknown uncertainty information fear broke yeah i get it and if you notice a lot of it is fear it's the paralysis of making a bad decision because you made maybe bad decisions well what if you had a process to go through what if you had something to go through that could help you filter if it was a good decision or bad decision write this down every business owner needs a decision making criteria now we might have a, it might be in the agenda where I'll go through it, but I can't, I got to tell you how to take action. Otherwise you won't even, you won't even have a decision-making criteria. Like if you had a formula to run to and write these three things, write these three things down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen again, because I want to share this model and I'm going to give you three things that is going to help you get past fear. Okay. It's going to help you get past fear and it's also gonna, uh, hopefully for you, hopefully is gonna be a big wake up call. 
the first thing about everything before we go into how to take action is this. You need to know ROI. Now, I know what you guys are saying. You're like, ah, Mike, I know. ROI, return on investment. I get it. Yeah, well, you got to make sure I'm going to put so much money out. And when do I get more money back? Isn't that the simple thing of return on investment? I mean, it's pretty simple. One thing I'm known for is taking what the rest of the world tries to make very complex so they could sell you some shit. I just say, well, let's not make it complex. Return on investment is I'm going to put money out and I want to know how much money I'm going to get back and how fast I'm going to get that money back and for how long I could get the money back. What they're not telling you is this, right? The return on time. Isn't that important? Tell me if that's important. The return on time. I mean, it's the same thing I tell people. Like when you come to Service Business Edge, like you're going to give up four days of the most powerful days of your life. What's the return on time? Well, you'll probably, before you even show up the first day, make 10 times your investment, if not maybe 20 times your investment. And if anybody attended the event, type in if that's true or if I'm, if, uh, call me on shit, whatever. And, and then the other thing, within a week of after leaving, your money should double, triple, or four times easily, quickly, fastly. We've had people leave and make a million dollars six months later. Well, that's return on time. If I buy something and my return on time is not going to be for three years, well, maybe you don't have that time to do that. But there's one more piece because I want you to know this and tell me if this makes sense. If this is good, give me a big old boom. It's ROL. It's you got to have the return on life. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? You need return on life. I need to make sure, I need to make sure, okay, it's going to make me money. It's going to give me back time and it's only going to take so much time. And then it's going to give me life back. I'm going to get freedom. I'm going to get wealth. I'm going to be able to see my family. I'm going to play the ball. My wife's going to yell at me less because I'm going to be home sooner. I'm not going to lie to her like I used to do. How many of you, and be honest with me, unless your wife's on here, don't be honest uh, on here. But if your wife's not here, how many of you did this? Like I go back 15, 18 years ago, my wife's like, hey, well, back then it was still a beeper. Is it dee 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 And you're like, what do you say when you grab the beeper, men? I can only talk to men because I'm a man right now, right? Ladies, just bear with me here. So I look at him like, oh, shit. I know it's 5 o'clock. Now I got to find a pay phone, right? So you go to the pay phone and... You got to hope that there's no like disgusting shit on the payphone, right? So you're like looking at it. You got to die. You're like, oh my God. But you're still going to put your finger in the hole and see if anybody money's in there, right? Because like how dirty could the money be, right? And you're like, hey, what's up? And she's like, uh, and you know what's coming. What's, what's the question, everybody? Type it in. What's the question? What time you going to be home? And I had it nailed. I was like, uh, yeah, not too late in a little while. Brilliant. But what time is that? It's five o'clock. What time do we get home, everybody? What time? It's eight o'clock. It's nine o'clock. She's like, that's, that's like in a little while. I was like, well, it was a little while for me, right? So I became a professional liar because I was like, man, I'm just trying to survive out there. I'm just trying to live. My neck's hurting. My ass is hurting. I got chafing. I don't, has anybody ever had that shape? Give a boom if you ever had that chafing stuff, right? Where like you feel like you're bleeding between your legs. You're trying to slop on Vaseline just to survive. Digging the next 100 foot ditch in 80% in, in humidity, 100 degree weather. You got rashes and hurt. Like probably just me. None of you probably experienced that. So I get this. You got to have you got to have this return on life. That's why when people say to me, they're like, Mike, I don't get it. You invest and I'll prove it to anybody. Anybody who ever wants to challenge me on anything, please let me know. I'll come right to you. You could come right to me and I'll show it to you. I spent 1.7 million, probably now more. I did spent over 400,000 on my own education. What do you think it costs to work with the $9.4 billion guy? You think it costs like two grand a month, three grand a month? No, no, it costs a lot, right? But the fact is, I'm not complaining about that. Because most people, when I say, I say, well, let me ask you a question. What if you sold a business that was 32 million and you became financially free for the next 10 generations? Is it worth 1.7? And what if you've, you've changed all these lives and helped, oh, now it's worth 1.7, right? So it's about, you have to understand the investment and the return on life. And it's given me back life. This is why Samsung brought me out to speak. The Wet Show, ACA, 
Mitsubishi, and the list goes on and on and on for people that bring me out to speak. Not just because I'm amazing, because I, I tell you certain things that no one else wants to tell you. Let's map out the action plan, okay? Draw this with me, everybody. Draw this with me. The first thing about action always is you gotta make a decision. You have to make a decision. And some of you made a decision, congratulations. You're investing in time right now with me. And I don't take that lightly. I'm here to serve you. I wanna give you information that helps move your brain, your thinking forward so you can be one of the greatest in the world in the company and not just an okay and not feel inferior of what your results are. But the first thing about taking action is this, making the decision is you have to know why and when. Why and when. If you don't identify the why I need this, and, and like I always tell people when they come to us and we work with hundreds of companies all over the United States, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, you know, I always say, well, what's your why? Why do you even want to be in my world? Why do you want to be in CEO world? Because the thing that's different about us, everybody, is I share more stuff for free time than, than anybody on the planet. A lot of people out there, I get it. They need to make money for that. But I tell people, you can't just swipe a credit card and come and hang out with me. And, and my team and my master of like, that's, no, you can't, a credit card don't get you a, a key into things. What gets you into the doorway is that I agree you wanna serve your family, that you wanna step up on a higher level, that you wanna move faster, that you wanna grow, that you wanna serve your community. So I gotta know your why, and then we can move forward. Then the next thing is when, when do you want to create greatness? When do you want to move forward? When do you want to get better? And a lot of people don't go through this with taking action. They don't, they don't answer that. Here's number two that I learned about taking action is leverage. Leverage is number two. And the thing I learned about leverage, I want you to pay attention because this here, this here right now, applied in your business with any employee and to yourself will make you millions of dollars. So please I am giving you what took me, whatever we are in business, 24 years to go through in order to, to make massive amounts of money. That's what, that's what it's taken, okay? Okay, they said that my iPad, my iPad's not sharing. Okay, hang on one second, everybody. And then give me a thumbs up if you could see my iPad when it comes on, guys. Okay, can you see my iPad? Thumbs up. Okay, thank you for letting me know, everybody. All right, so here we go. Just so we can re-highlight here then, because I guess we lost a little iPad connection. We have our why. We have what it, step one, make a decision. And then we have here our when. And we're over here right now on the leverage, okay? We're on the leverage side of things. The important thing about leverage is this. First, the consequence, the consequence, okay? You must, to have leverage, you have to tell your brain that there's a painful consequence. When the brain knows there's a painful consequence, guess what it will do? It will do everything in its power to avoid the consequence. Everything in its power. That's why I'll give you some examples. Like one time someone said, well, I do a lot of consequences for a lot of our clients, our warrior clients, so I'll tell them, if you need a consequence, like, what do you have something you love? And I've had people with sniper rifles, with BMWs, with their wedding ring and everything in between. And I say, okay, well, if you don't get this done in 30 days, pretty simple. Just mail me your sniper rifle. I love guns. I'm, I love a lot of guns. Just send me your BMW. See, when the consequence is so real that you won't turn back, it's almost like, and I'll use a crazy consequence. Since I have a knife, I could show you with a knife. So if I said to you, you know, if you don't get this done, if you don't, like, how many of you, let me ask you a question, type it in, in Disney, you answer and let me know, how many of you, how many of you would like to hire a thoroughbred, a thoroughbred, I mean a guy that is driven, producer, ownership mentality in 30 days or less, who, who wants to do that? Type in a big boom or something, type in a big boom. Okay, so I'm gonna assume there's a lot of people on there, but I'm not gonna switch my screen. 
Now, the thing is, a lot of you may not believe that, believe you could get a thoroughbred or you've been struggling. But if I said this to you, this knife, you're going to sign a document that if you don't get a thoroughbred in 30 days, I could take your finger on live Facebook Live, which I they probably won't let that. So let's just say on Zoom or something. And, and you will let me cut, not cut, saw. I know some of you are freaking out. You're like, ah, right? Listen, just go with the point. Don't get freaked out over it. I want you to understand the point. If it was that much leverage and I sawed through that, let me put my blade back in, that much, would you find someone in 30 days? Now, the example could be as crude as you want. I could say, look, if I had your children hostage and the only thing you had to do to get them back was no money, no nothing, all you needed to do was hire a thoroughbred in 30 days, you would never fail. The problem with your people and yourself is you don't understand the consequence you want to put or you don't understand the unspoken consequence. The unspoken consequence is there's more people losing their businesses today than ever before. They used to say if you were in business five years, you would last forever. Now it's less than three years because you don't understand the consequence. The next thing on consequence is this. You must have momentum. Momentum is one of the craziest things, everybody. I will tell you, between consequence and, and, and momentum. Momentum means when you start, I just told someone before, uh, a client, a work client of mine, I said, when the foot goes on the pedal, you can't back off the pedal. Not in any business today. If any of you think building a business, you could pull off the pedal, let me know, because I, I want you to teach me now. Because I've been around... I mean, a lot of people for a long time, business owners, and every time I watch someone that was doing less than a million and now they're 5 million, they used to make 50,000 a year. Now they make a couple hundred thousand a year to buy the boat, the car, the motorcycle, the, the house. They start jerking around. Foot comes off the pedal. Disney will tell you. Disney, unmute yourself. Is that true? What happens when people, business owners, take their foot off the pedal? Well, you, you took over, right? You go back to square one. It, what it took to go forward? It rewinds twice as fast. That's why I'm saying action is creating momentum and consequence and moving forward faster. I, you must listen to me, please. Please listen to me on that. Okay, next thing is this, number three. Number three is confidence. This is where most of you suffer because of fear, because you've never gained the confidence because what happened is you started to fail and now you're not a confident, and let alone you promised your wife you were gonna you know, sell stamps or, or sell timeshares or, or sell cars, and you had all these other you know, things that you were gonna do and sell oils, and you promised them you were gonna be that one that made $10 million and got the Hawaii trip and you failed, and then you failed in business and had to go work for someone and try it again, and your co confidence went in the shitter. So you have no confidence no more. And normally I tell people, once I put enough confidence, uh, consequence and momentum on your ass, oh, confidence will come back fast. Confidence comes back real fast. But here's the thing that helps confidence. You want to know, you want to know your win, okay? Your win and your rewards. You see, as the, the, as the mind runs from pain, it runs towards win. It runs towards rewards. When you know that by doing hard work and getting this done and moving the needle and changing your profit, I mean, let me ask you a question. Type in right now, how many points added to your profit makes a difference? 1.2.5 points. I mean, how many points starts to make a difference where you're like, holy crap, that helps a lot. Type it in. It might be different for all of you. I'm, I'm curious about what it is for you. Type it in and then I want to finish the action set. And then what I want to do is I want to go into the next strategy, which is about accountability, because you got to know how to do accountability for this here. And don't leave me. I know we're, we're hitting an hour, but stay with me because I got some stuff I'm going to teach you about how to get more profit with reviews that's going to blow your mind. So I'm not done and I'm going to keep going for a while because uh, I want to give you not just great value. I want to exceed your expectations unlike you've ever, ever saw before or felt before. Okay. 
So this is the action mindset. So what I want to know is, and, and let me unshare this because I, I need to read some of these. Um, 5%, 10%, 2%. Yeah, I mean, for some of you, just a couple points. Now, let me ask you a question. I think I'm going to add it here. I have so much, uh, so much information that I want to share with you. But let me give it to you right here in the action point. And I want all of you to, to type it down or write it in what I want you to do right now. One, I want you to set a standard of how much profit, let me bring my screen back up. I want you to set a standard of how much profit you will not get, but demand, demand of 2019. You see, because if you demand a profit, a certain amount, you're going to go get it, everybody. You're going to go get the health of the profit. But if you don't have it, and I'm going to give you the problem that no one's sharing with people. I, I don't understand why every employee in your company doesn't understand what profit and growth is. You got to teach them. So one, you must demand. That must be checked too. Number two, you must have a dashboard. And most people do not have a profit dashboard. You must have a profit dashboard. And everybody in your company must see this profit dashboard. They must measure against growth and profitability all the time, and you must write it. Don't send out some stupid email. You must have a meeting with your people. You must grab a red marker or a green marker, and you go up and write revenue we hit and profit. Because people come for raises when there's revenue growth. They should come for raises when there's massive profit growth. Isn't that true? But most of you are so driven by a top line number that it, it sounds impressive. I'm around a lot of people. Oh, I'm doing 10 million. I'm like, good. How much profit? Oh, uh, uh, well, and I'm like, oh, you're dying, right? You're dying. You're a $10 million zombie, right? That's what you are. Like, please bullshit the world. If you want me to serve you, tell me the truth and I'll help you. You want to lie to me? I don't even, I don't deal with people that lie, cheat or steal. I never did in my company. I never do in life. You know, so you got to have this dashboard. And the second thing is you must educate. You must educate. That looks spelled weird, but that's okay. We'll go with that. You must educate your employees on it. You must educate your employees on it. They have to know what it means. They don't understand. I mean, can you guys get this? And I know this is going to make sense, but can you get this that... Out of every dollar, right? And do the math with me. And here, this is warrior. This is a warrior dollar here. Out of every dollar, if you made 10% profit, how much, how much money did you make off of that dollar? If you just make 10% profit off the dollar, answer it. Disney, tell me the answers that they come in so we know they know how to do the math. If not, we'll help them. Okay. <laughs> 10, cents. 10 cents, everybody, 10 cents. Do you realize how silly this feels? I mean, I don't know the recent stat, but McDonald's that sells rat shit meat, and hopefully you didn't eat it today, sorry if you did, but they, they got caught packing their meat with sawdust, makes 28% profit for every dollar. And if you're not 10%, do you realize you probably could find dimes on the ground and for every dime you find on the ground, you just made, right? You just did a dollar work, except you picked a dime off the ground. Your people don't know that. They think a million dollars, you're, you're swimming in cash. You go home and have sex on cash. You're not doing that. You're struggling. You're, you're having sex on dimes and if not pennies. It's ridiculous. Do you hear what I'm saying? You must educate them on this, everybody. But let me show you how to create, because tell me if you agree in this. Will, will accountability, will accountability, will it help your culture create more profit and revenue and return on life? Tell me what accountability would do for you if we increase the accountability in your company. Type it in now while I take a drink here.
Disney, tell me what some of them are typing in. Yeah, I mean accountability is going to help is going to help with all that. Let me draw with you here and please draw with me so I can teach you um, accountability and how to help your team understand it and you could use this in your company, okay? To help them get more accountable. And just so I don't forget Disney, I'm going to write down here theme um and mantra because I, I want to make sure I teach them that real quick as, as part of this, okay? So the first thing here is we have these squares and on the outside we have knowledge. We have knowledge, okay? In the top part we have know and in the bottom we have don't know, okay? On the left arrow we have avoidance. In the middle, we have ownership. And on the right side, we have all in. All in, okay? Now, if we have somebody who doesn't know what to do and they avoid things, here's what we have. We have distorted. We have distorted effort. We have distorted accountability. Everything is distorted. They, they, they are doing pretty much nothing. Now, if we have somebody that avoids things and, but they know what to do, guess what that is, everybody? It's irresponsible. And I don't mean to get you upset today, but type in any of you, if you have anybody in your culture that is being irresponsible to getting results, type it in. You could just say yes or boom in there. You have some irresponsible people. Now, if we have somebody that does not know, but they're all in, well, guess what? They're at least, they're engaged, right? At least they're engaged. And engaged could be helpful, but we don't want just engaged, right? What we want is somebody that knows what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and they're all in, and guess what that is? That's invested. Now, when people are invested in, in the culture, okay, when people are invested in the culture, then what happens is, based on us having enough investment in the culture, you see this here? This becomes, in this corner here, becomes this, accountable. Over time, of being uh, invested and they know what to do and they're all in, then we will have ultimate accountability. The cool thing is once you have ultimate accountability enough and you have it a lot on a regular basis, then guess what? Then we will get here, we will get mastery of accountability. I will not tell you that I've had mastery of accountability on everything, but I will tell you that I've probably, and Disney could say yes or no, I will say we had pretty damn close to mastery of accountability. What do you think, Disney? Yeah, we're pretty solid there. Yeah. I mean, in CEO Warrior World, we have it at a whole nother level, but with 200 employees, they understood that to work with us and to be in our culture, we needed them to be to know what to do and be all in, which made the culture invested and a very invested culture, invested in the why, invested in the vision, invested in the future, invested in the leaders, invested in the systems, you will have ultimate accountability. So if you were to rank right now as a culture, as long as your employees are not on here, so be careful, but if you were to pick one of these right now, that your culture is and where you need it to go. Where is your culture today? Is it distorted? Is it irresponsible? Is it engaged or is it invested? And the goal is to get here, to invest it. So everybody type in the chat bar, don't fade on me. Don't be on Facebook goofing around. You've invested your time to learn and I'm giving you stuff that changed the game. That's why uh, Master Advisor Mike Disney's on here. 
He worked at Gold Medal with me for six years, and he's the director here at CEO Warrior. He will tell you exactly how this, this has changed the game uh, for us. Disney, read to me some of their, their comments there. Yeah. Yeah. Between distorted and engaged, so there's a lot of uh, in betweens and a lot of irresponsible. Okay. So let me help you. Got let me help you all out with this. Would you be open right now if I could share something with you? I'll need you to give me a big old warrior boom. If I share something with you, even if it stings, but I need booms because if if you if you can't handle a sting right now, I'll move on to the to the next uh, the next strategy here. But if you could handle a little sting, then what I would like to do is I, I'd like to share this comment with you. Let me know what they say, Disney. Tons of booms, even got a kaboom, bunch of it. Okay, the kaboom is what, what got me to move forward here. Here's the deal. <laughs> when you have irresponsible, okay, you normally have the owner. And here's, please be honest with me. I want you to be honest because look, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. You could ask me anything. Uh, anybody in my world, and hopefully if there's a bunch of warriors on here, type in if, uh, what type of person I am and see you a warrior. Are we, are we honest with everything? Here's what I would tell you. Right now, this will solve a big problem. How invested are you from 1 to 10 right now? 10 being, I am so invested in my company. You wake up early, you get out of your truck, you walk to your building like this. You hear thunderstruck playing. As you're walking a building, door flies open. Let's do it. And everybody's like, who, who? Everybody's on. That is you as a 10 invested. And one, you hate it. You drive to work. You stop on the way there to avoid it. Sometimes you lay back in bed and act sick. Sometimes you make yourself sick. Where do you rate yourself? Disney, give me some numbers, brother. Yeah. 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 So, so this is not a surprise because if you're not invested above an eight, you're going to have irresponsible people. When you're invested, the irresponsible people step to invested or step out. That's what I always told Disney because Disney was a director of CEO Warrior. He ran over 19 million. He's one of, he's the director and one of our master advisors here. He ran our Costco program, seven Costco stores, our Lowe's program, over 19 million of HVAC sales, sewer sales, basement waterproofing sales, one day bathroom remodeling sales, right? And he will tell you for a fact that when anybody's not invested, the leader, the people are irresponsible and they're not engaged and they're distorted, right Disney? That's right. You must be invested. So I will tell you, and if you're a 10, stay a 10. But a 10's only as good as your ability to pull irresponsible people forward or out. They either move up or move out. That's it. I always choose them to move up because I, I don't think people are expendable, but if they get in the way and are going to sacrifice the livelihood of other employees, then they must pop out. Okay? They must pop out. What I want to do right now is let me just teach you... Um, a model here real quick on what I believe all of you want to go through if you're looking to do any of these things in the future, any of these things in the future. If you're looking to um, grow, sell in the next couple years, hand it over to a family member, anything like that, you must, you must understand the sequence of things that have to happen and put yourself into that sequence. Let me let me draw it out for you. You draw with me too, please, okay? You draw with me too. Okay. So you're all on a call with me, and for profit and growth, there's a starting point. This is where you are at today, right? This is where you are. And all of you want to get somewhere, and it's normally about a three-year mark for wherever you want to go. If you ask yourself, uh, if, you're, if your kid was 15, three years later they're 18, type in, is that a big difference between a 15-year-old kid and an 18-year-old kid? 
Yes? Type it in if you agree. Put yes in there. Only if you agree. If you look at your life, I bet every three years there's, there's a change of some kind. If you're married three more years, your kid's three years older, whatever it is, the business is three years older, every three years there's a cycle. And I want to teach you what I learned about the cycle and something that we talk about in CEO Warrior a lot to get people. So when people see that we're giving companies, you know, they're getting four million a year, five million, six million, three million, two million. We have success stories all the way around. It's because we understand a couple real critical things and I want to apply this to profit for you. The first thing for all of you to gain more profit, and one of the things we talk about a fair amount at Service Business Edge is you must calibrate. The first 12 months, which is nice because you could start this January 1st, is you want to calibrate your business. You want to ask yourself, you want to ask yourself what needs to be improved, clean, uh, you want to calibrate your selling system? Oh, it unshared itself? Okay, yeah, I don't know why it's, uh, why it's kicking off, so sorry about that, everybody. It's, I'm, it could be that I'm drawing such brilliance that... Give me a thumbs up if you can see it. Thumbs up. Even the iPod can't keep up with it. Yeah, no, well, it normally can't. I shut down all electronics, but it's okay. Are we, we're good, Disney? We're good. Okay. So first we got to calibrate. The good thing for you guys, January 1st, calibration is about calibrating your sales system, your customer service department, your dispatch. One of the things we're known for is, you know, teaching people how to hire and recruit quicker and faster than anybody on the planet, uh, processes and systems, world-class marketing and scalability techniques along with operations. You know, Gold Medal was a $32 million company. It ran five years without me, okay? And I put in, I know how to put in leaders, I know how to build leaders, and I know how to take ordinary people and make them extraordinary. So first, you have to calibrate your processes in order to gain, if we look at this, let's call this, let's call this the profit scale, you know, in order to start growing profit, you got to calibrate all your systems. Once you calibrate it, then what you want to do is this, you want to start to accelerate the progress, okay? That's the next 12 months, which really puts us 24 months out. And in that time of, of acceleration, here's the deal what a lot of companies try to do. I watch it all the time because you guys got to understand, I'm so deep into service industries, probably deeper than most people I know because I've been doing it for five years and I've worked with hundreds of contractors and, and service companies and spoke all over the place. Um, even went out to Australia to speak years ago. And what I found out is if you take a Kia and strap a rocket, a, a dragster engine into a Kia, that Kia will go fast. But what will happen? Type in what happens to the Kia. Probably appropriate to put boom in there. It's going to blow up. Everything's going to self-destruct. So people try to accelerate because you have all these marketers. They're like, I will send you a million leads. I will get you to sell a ton of business. I will get you to buy more trucks. And then they have it and then they blow up. And I watch it all the time because they never calibrated the system. So they didn't upgrade the wheels, the chassis, the, the frame. They, they, they didn't calibrate the driver who's going to drive the car. They tried to accelerate. And you remember how many of you as a kid, uh, I remember Disney, I don't know about you. I strapped a bottle rocket to the, uh, the Hot Wheel cars. Do you ever do that? If you did that, type it in. And that, that, that little, uh, you know, that little uh, whatever bottle rocket on that car, man, that bottle rocket flies. Car never holds up. Uh, I think the Hummer one held up one time, the Army Hummer. But the rest of the cars, they blow up when they hit it. Just the wheels blow up, they're crooked. It, it's crazy. That's what happens. But after you accelerate, well, then we have the final run, which is the last 12 months, which is 36 months out. And this is domination. Domination is when you choose to take ultimate market share. This is what we've been the best in the world in because there's a reason why um, the company, the private equity company purchased us and let me walk away the next day. Well, first off, we were anybody that's in New Jersey. If you're in New Jersey, type in, hell yeah, New Jersey right? If you're in New Jersey, then you know something for sure. I built an empire and I built walls around it. And other companies wanted to enter central New Jersey, but they couldn't because I built a Spartan, a Spartan army. 
You couldn't penetrate the walls. And if you can't kill them, you got to buy them. That's the best, the best way out. So that was my domination strategy. And this, I went from the time of people chasing us. People were chasing the bias for about two and a half years. And that's when I went into ultimate. When I talked to Jay Abraham about profit, I went to ultimate calibration, ultimate acceleration, and then I went domination. Now, once you get to three years, you want to start to think about uh, something. One, you want to, uh, you want to celebrate. Okay, because, you know, if you keep, and I know a lot of you, I don't know, maybe not a lot of you, but me as a man, it's tough to celebrate. I love to drive, but I don't celebrate the wins enough. You have to celebrate. After you celebrate, you must evaluate. You must evaluate. Where are you now and where do you want to go? Do you want to sell after three years? Do you want to hand it to somebody? Do you want to make sure it runs itself and go another three years? But if you think about this three-year concept, it's going to serve you really well. Then what happens is we go this way and we get motivated again. We want to re-motivate ourselves. I think anybody that's on here that came to a service business edge event or they're in our warrior group, they would say to you that, one, they understand the art of calibration, putting things in place. They understand how to evaluate and that you have to be motivated to move forward. Motivated without brains and skills and, and operations and systems and sales processes. And like, that's why we built a lot of things. Well, you guys wouldn't know that, but that's why I went out last year and we built Phone Warrior. We built, uh, which teaches CSRs. It's the highest level of customer service training on the planet. We taught Phone uh, Road Warrior, which is the highest level, most strategic and, and pretty much results producing uh, service expert training anywhere in the world. We built leadership, forget it. It makes John Maxwell stuff, who's a legend. Um, I would invite him to it. And if any of you wanna invite him, I guarantee that our leadership program pretty much blows away any leadership program he's ever built. Um, and I don't say that for ego, I just, I took everything I've learned on 1.7 million and put it together in, in leadership and running a, you know, over 200 million in 10 years. And then we went out, we built war planning, which is something I want to talk to you guys about. Not that you can come to it. It's only for our members, but war planning is something all of you need to do. And that is the next strategy I want to talk to you about. If you are not planning, if you don't have a strategic blueprint of your marketing, your operations, the systems, the calibration of your people, um, how to improve the sales process to raise conversion and average invoice, how to raise your customer service, how to raise your repeat business, how to raise your referrals. That's what we do. We built that last year and we have one coming up in a couple weeks. You have to have a form of, you don't have to call it war planning, but that's what we did. And I just did CEO's war planning for three days with Mike Disney and, and all our employees here. You must, in order to calibrate and, and dominate your market, you have to have war planning where you evaluate to put all these things in place. So let's stop there one minute. I want to first know that all of you um, tell me what your biggest, your biggest nugget is uh, so far. I want to hear what your biggest nugget is, what hit you between the eyes, and what you're going to implement. And then I have a couple more things for you, and then we'll get you off this uh, training really soon. Well, I'll put this here in case you didn't finish drawing it. So type in real quick for me. Disney, read some things for me, uh, please, so I know what they're, they're saying. Yeah. Still waiting for some stuff to come up on what their takeaways are. Yeah, I know I give you guys a lot and you're drawing super, super uh, fast there, but I want you to stay with me because I'm going to teach you uh, the strategy before we go. I'm going to teach you on how to get testimonials super quick, the timing for referrals and testimonials. I'm going to solve a lot of problems for you guys and it's going to add massive profit and I'm going to give you a gift with it and you're gonna be able to execute it right away. So let's get a couple more responses, then I wanna show them something. Let me show you something. And Disney, I'm gonna want you to put up the link for them, and I'm sure they're gonna blow it up and it's gonna shut the system down, but it's okay, we'll, we'll do our best with it. But I wanna show you guys something while you're typing in responses. What, what we decided here at CEO Warrior is, um, Yes, we have our next service business edge event that's coming up and it's coming up in about a month or so. And, and normally I would extend an offer, but we've become really critical on who we want in and we want to make sure that you want to grow, you want more profit and you want to go to the next level. So I thought talking with my whole CEO Warrior team, we said what would be an amazing gift for everybody on here 
And so for the gift that we're going to give you is we're going to give you a free strategy session with one of our growth advisors. And when you get on, and, and Disney's going to post the link for us, when he gets on, I'm going to show you what you're going to go through with the growth advisor. And there's no cost for this at all. It's a gift for 2019 because I'm in a position where I can give these gifts uh, to you um, and help the industry that changed my life and made me, uh, I'm not retired, I don't believe in retirement, but made me uh, you know, wealthy from the service industry. I'm extremely passionate about anybody in any service industry because if you get rid of the hard work and trade people, the whole economy would just collapse. So I'm, I'm a super believer in that. So here's what's gonna go through. One, we'll evaluate your size, where you're at. We'll let you know what to expect to go to the next level. We'll look for any roadblocks that you have. And the growth advisor is gonna let you know some things that you could put in place. And there's a good chance that on that, that call, whatever it is, 30, 45 minutes, whatever it takes, that it is going to make you money and change the game for you. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna be somebody in the market. I know there's so many people out there trying to get you to buy their, you know, they did a million dollars and now they're a coaching guru and they, you know, they're just not having, it's not a one size fits all everybody. It's, it's a your size fits you. Every one of you have different kids, different wives, different families, different age, different situation. It never was a McDonald's method. Um, the greatest companies in the world will tell you that, the largest in the world will tell you that. So I wanna offer that to you. And here's what we will cover. Disney's gonna put the link in there. Um, it's gonna buy, be by a first come first serve, just so you know. We're gonna do as many as we can uh, before the new year, barring you know celebrating Christmas and the holidays. But it's gotta be first come first serve. I know we already have probably, I don't know what we have. We probably have a fair amount of them already backed up. And there's a good chance it might be me taking the call with you for, for some of these. So some of you will be lucky. Otherwise you'll have any one of our other uh, growth advisors. We will be talking about your three biggest uh, struggles and we will go through the business roadmap questionnaire and we will help you evaluate and give you some suggestions on all these items here where you can see the whole questions you may not know to ask, financial impact questions, and we'll show you what you're leaving behind and we'll give you some ideas on the quickest way to put it in place. So I'm excited to offer that to you guys because as CEO Warrior keeps growing and growing, uh, the movement keeps growing and we keep changing lives. It's the butterfly effect. Uh, the more lives we change, we change one life, that life changes another life. So if you wanna do that, you wanna click that link fast and put, I think we just asked for two pieces of information. I'll show you what the link looks like so you know you're in the right spot. And I'm, I'm really honored you're on here with me, but I'm more honored that I can extend um, our growth advisors to you to coach you, which these guys make, you know, you know, make six figures and, and they, they have, they have really super skilled. Um, so if you go to the form, you'll see right here, you'll put your first name, you'll put your email, you'll request the invitation. Um, you could probably, let's see what this is. You could watch, we're not going to watch all this video. Yeah, so a lot of uh, upper management and my goal is to push upper management to to bring that stuff home but well, I think we're looking to um, develop expectations I think that we know that you know just based on where we are we know that our expectations are probably too the second so, that board was broke a wind was lifted off my shoulder and I knew exactly what had to be done what we were going to go home and do um, it's phenomenal it was, Never been anything a part of anything like that last night. You can't be great. Yeah, so there's, there's, you can listen to this 17 minutes long. There's tons of value and lessons in it. I would definitely, definitely uh, listen to this if I was you. Here's uh, Mandy. Uh, I don't know how long this is. I want to share this real quick, and then I'm going to go into the testimonial strategy and finish up with all of you so you could get any last minute shopping done before the weekend and stuff. Mandy is our Warrior of the Year second year in a row. She's with us. I think she's going on her second year uh, with us. Her goal was to, um, her 2020 goal was to get to 5 million and she was at a couple million. I think she might say that. Let's see what she has to say here. I am Mandy Hagen, owner of Rattle Services located in New Hampshire. My husband Ian and I have been warriors for, this is our second year. And really the power in this group is so magnificent in that 
the resources that you have between Mike and his talent and his expertise and his experiences and his knowledge and then also the power of all of the other warriors that are always so giving and so willing to help you grow your business and really want you to do well, I think is really unique to the business trade organizations that offer assistance. And really and truly, we will always be warriors, CEO warrior, part of the CEO warrior team. And for us, just this past year, we've grown from offering just septic and drain cleaning to now offering heating and cooling, electrical, plumbing, uh, same day bathroom makeovers, and also pipe bursting. So CEO Warrior has changed our world as a husband and wife team, as a parent, as a mom, being a mom, um, as being a wife, as being a friend, as being a business leader. I am definitely a lot more confident in my interactions with everyone that I work with. I love to be a leader, I love to grow, I love to see the changes in my personal self, and I just think that CEO Warrior has so much to offer everyone in this world that you just have to be a part of it because you're missing out if you're not. Yeah, so there's a little bit from Mandy. She called me up uh, six months ago. She says, I have a really, really big problem that you have to help me with, and I was real concerned. So I said to her, um, hey, what's the, uh, what's the problem? She goes, well, our 2020 vision was uh, five million. And I said, okay, what's the problem? She goes, we're gonna do six million this year. So she texted me the other day. She's already exceeded uh, six million from two million in less than two years. And that's game changing. That changes families, that changes lives, that changes everything. I don't say that to impress you, I just say it because uh, we care so much about you that we want you, you know, we want everybody to have a chance to grow their company. All right, if you have any questions, Disney will post uh, that link. Make sure you get registered. If you want that, that uh, call with a, a growth advisor, we'll take them in, in order of things. Let's talk about, let me share my screen again. And I want to talk to you guys about testimonials. I came across a resource and I felt that I just shared it with my highest level clients that came out a couple weeks ago and it's working like gangbusters. And I thought, what a great gift. I will share the resource with you guys so you can leverage it through the holidays. And it's a testimonial strategy. So let me bring this up for you. I came across a resource that we're using at CEO Warrior. And most people don't want to share this shit. Like they want to make you, they want you to pay, right? They want you to pay to, to share a strategy. And I don't expect you to pay for, you know, I want to give you as many, much value and strategies as possible. So first off, um, when you do a job or anything with, and I'll share my screen in a minute, when you do a job with, for anything, for anybody, the time when you're asking for a testimonial is at the time that you created massive value. You've exceeded their expectations. So the first question I want to ask you before I deliver this is type in, um, do you feel that I and the CEO Warrior team that helped set this all up, do you feel with the models I taught you, the action model, the accountability model, the design by default uh, model, and everything I shared with you, have I exceeded your expectations in the last, well, let's see what we're at, one, three, two, in the last hour and a half? Type that in if we have done a good job at that so I know. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the strategy, but I'm also, I'm also going to teach this to you uh, right now how to do it because I think that's the best way to teach, the, uh, to teach the strategy. So let me see so I can read it more than I expected. Thank you. This is exactly why we do what we do, everybody. We want to exceed your, your expectations. Okay, great. So now I wanna ask you to test out something and it's not gonna cost you anything to test it, but it's gonna give you a super feel for a system that we've implemented and we've had our, our, top, you know, our top coaching clients that we work with implement and so let me share this. This is a company we, we came across. And the company, I don't know if you ever heard it, it's called So Tell Us. And so what I'd like you to do to test this out, and there's no charges to it, I want you to pick up your phone. Okay, so pick up your phone now, as long as you're not on your phone. And I want you to text WARRIOR to 480-360-4303. So go ahead, text that right now. And it's gonna come up an application, and it's gonna say Warrior, and it's gonna give you a choice. You can five-star rate us, and you could type a little thing. I attended one of Mike's uh, uh, CEO Warrior's webinars, and it was amazing, he over-delivered, or CEO Warrior rocks, or we love CEO Warrior, or you could click the video one, 
and you could do a video, which is cool, because you know I respect video. Video is one of the number one competitive strategies to get more customers and serve your existing customers at a greater level. I'm, I've proven that the last five years, and I've proven that gold medal, that video dominates, and anybody who's not afraid to do video gets more free PR. We've been on news, MSNBC, NBC, ABC, and it's all because of my lack of fear of getting on video, and then I've taught some of my employees how to get on video because I didn't want to do it no more. So go ahead, pick up your cell phone, um, type warrior to 480-360-4303, and give me, if only if we earned it, if we didn't earn it, then say bad things about us, hopefully you won't. But if you felt we exceeded your expectations, let's take it a couple minutes and do it. And then what I'm gonna show you is a couple tips on what to do with these testimonials once your customers do it for you because you know I have a rule of thumb, everybody, right? You can't get testimonials if you don't give testimonials. That's what I've learned. Um, you can't get what you're not willing to give. And so that's why I want to give you the opportunity to give us one if we earned it. And then I'm going to tell you when your customers do it, how to leverage that to get more profit. And it's going to be a great strategy. It unshared? No, sir, you're good. Okay, cool. I'm going to go on the call. Okay, awesome. Okay, so if you've given that and it worked, do me a favor, type in uh, how it worked for you, and then I'll tell you how this, how a lot of our team and a lot of our people are using this, and a lot of gurus I know in the world are using this in their business today. It's super, it's quick, and then I'm gonna give you an opportunity that we worked out for you, which is a huge gift for you to test this thing out. So if you did it, Awesome, we'll just give it another minute. Just, you don't have to type a big paragraph. Just say, we over-delivered, we gave our time, you were amazed at the value, whatever you wanna say for it. Or if you're in the Warrior Group, say something nice about us. Or you attended our four-day service business edge training that's coming up in just about a month or so uh, coming up, which I'm sure a lot of you on here will be attending that. I'm excited, we, are, we have Jay Abraham, the $9.4 billion man uh, coming back. I'm super excited. Excited for that. And Brian Kurtz, top copywriter in the world, and pretty sure Mike McCallitz is coming, who wrote Pumping Plan and great books. So if you're done with that, do me a favor, type a big boom. And for those of you, Mike Disney just typed in, also put, if any of you did not want to or did miss it in the stream to take advantage of the uh, growth strategy call, type that in. Awesome. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. So let me give you the opportunity, because I know some of you probably got to bounce. But if you don't have to bounce, stay with me because I'm going to tell you how to leverage this. Here's what I did for you. So if you go to so tell us or take a snapshot of the bottom right here, so tell us.com backslash CEO warrior backslash and use the promo code 200 bucks. I mean, 200, you're going to get 50% off the, uh, the setup fee. And I'm going to tell you, this thing is crazy affordable and it's nuts. It is so good. And I'm going to tell you how to leverage it super, super fast. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it, brother. Um, so go ahead, write down the promo code. You don't have to do this part now. You could do it afterwards and take advantage of the 50% off. It's a gift. We negotiated for you. And here's what I want to tell you how to use this. So anybody in any service business at all, um, if you, it doesn't matter what business, when you're done and exceeded their expectations, you, you delivered massive value, you did the job, then your guy or your expert, whoever just goes up to the customer and said, hey, just like I asked you, did I exceed your expectations? And if they say, yes, you did, then you say, would you be kind enough to give me a testimonial? All I need you to do is grab out your cell phone right now and type, you know, your company name to this uh, number and it's going to come up and I'm going to leave the room and do me a favor. Just say whatever you want about me. Now you're getting instant. Now your outbounders can leverage this. Now, here's the thing about testimonials that most of you um, have probably lost the opportunity. Real-time reviews is, is also a great another opportunity. Um, I believe you need a couple different vehicles to get reviews on. So I'm always a believer in test many, and I've been on many. I love real-time reviews. We use that. We use So Tell Us, and I've used this in front of groups. So definitely test them out. Make sure you love it. And a lot of times, uh, some of your employees work better with different, uh, different platforms and stuff. What we do here, and you might use this platform just so you know, a lot of people are not leveraging 
they're only leveraging testimonials, and this should be, tell me if this is a big boom, only after the job's done. Well, let me ask you a question. And if you want to get, if you want to blow away everybody in the world on testimonials, this is how you'll do it. Well, what about when you're on the phone and your call taker, your customer service expert, blows them away and says, hey, did I answer all your questions? Did I exceed your, uh, uh, did I, did I blow away your expectations, exceed your expectations on the phone? Yes. Would you mind doing me a favor? And people love to do favors for people. And they say, yeah. Would you mind right now taking your cell phone and texting this to this and giving me a review when we're off? I would be honored if you did that for me. It would mean the world. And my boss here will know that I'm doing the very best job for our clients. Now, look, I don't know if everybody does it, but if 80% do it on every inbound call, then do it on 80% of the calls you go to, and then your outbound department gets it on 80%, and then your salesperson gets it on 80%, and maybe even your dispatcher gets it on 80%. Please tell me now, please tell me now, how many reviews have you gotten that will get you more profit because of more credibility? I am not done yet. I'm gonna give you more strategies, but please tell me if this is a huge boom for you. Is this a huge boom or what? I know you guys are like typing, you're putting in the promo code, you're giving me testimonials. I, I'm so honored for all that, thank you. So here's the deal now, now that you got the, the testimonials, okay, now that you got all the testimonials there, Judimir, you're good. No. Okay, now that you got all the testimonials here, now what I want you to do is take all those testimonials and there's a number one thing that none of you do. Well, maybe some of you do, but Jesse, I don't know if all of you do. This is critical. As soon as the testimonial's done, if it's remote, you reach back out to them. If it's on the job, you go right now, you say, look, I want to thank you so much for the testimonial. And we found out that based on our customers giving us testimonials, that normally when they're done doing a testimonial, that they have somebody in mind that also would enjoy our level of service that we deliver. And if that's the case, we would love to serve them and also offer them a special gift, incentive, and discount for working with us. And we would let them know it's from you. So with that being said, who comes to mind right now? Who comes to mind right now that you would be thinking of that would be wanting our service? And you ask them right now. So now the referral comes, boom, right on the spot. Now, if out of every 20 calls, you got uh, 20 jobs you did or 20... Uh, testimonials you got you got one referral tell me how this would change the game for lowering your marketing budget and exceeding your profit results please type it in now how would this change the game for you type it in right now Awesome. Big time. Boom. That is super, super great. So what I would like to do for all of you right now, please make sure you have the uh, promo code. I'm going to share a slide with our information. So if we could help any of you, we will have a replay of this. So if you think of uh, somebody that you feel um, needs this information or that this information would serve their company i want you to type this down real quick or just or just take a screenshot of it you have the code in there and the link to take it take advantage of the growth advisor call and i'm i'm so honored for that and here's information if for some reason you need to email us or call us at ceo warrior caroline will be glad to answer the call we'll take great care of you and as you know i'd like to end with uh with two things today the first thing I'd like to end with is please, if there is any service people out there in the world um, that you know of, a painter, a plumber, if they're struggling and they have no money, like let's get them the webinar. And if, if, if you care about them and feel bad for them or anything, let me know and I'll send them free books on me. If you're one of those people that are just broke off your ass, it's possible. I know it's painful. I've been in hard spots myself. Um, we send out thousands of books a year as a gift on us just to help the industry. I'll cover the shipping, I'll cover everything. I would love nothing more than to get them, either our nine pillars or you know our business mastery or why your business sucks books, whatever fits them uh, most. So please, if you know anybody struggling in business, please just send a word to Caroline and say, can I get a friend of mine 
this book. He needs help. He's down on his luck. And I love to serve him. And, and we'll send him some webinars. And we'll help him any way we can. We, we want to make a difference in the world. Make sure you got a snapshot of that. And the very last slide for you. And just to tell you that I love, I appreciate all of you. I want you to have such an amazing 2019. I want you to crush it. I want you to market, dominate it. And I want you to have greater happiness, less stress. And I want to thank you for being on today's training. Boom, we are out.